packages tab in the practice better portal i'm on my test patient and i'm going to click bookings and packages and i'm going to show you what we can do here so currently we're under bookings tab <clears throat> and there's nothing currently booked but if she has a package already when i go book a se session we can select um, what's remaining from her package and here's um, an example so that was here's the fast action button so let's say I want to book a session I can click book a session or I can click that I want to book a package or invite her to book so um, if she hasn't registered, I might press invite to book where it's going to email her and she has to go through the steps to book. But let's say um, I've done a discovery call and um, she wants to go ahead and purchase the package that is the four step start package. And, um, you know, we can adjust anything. It's my test client. So I'm going to take that fee away here. And um you know i can set when it expires weekly monthly booking limit so it's nice because there's defaults but you can go and personalize this to each client so in this package i have an intake i have a consult um, which i have restricted to um, this one's you know each one is restricted based on location and then i could edit those if i want and so i can add to it manually here but i'm going to go ahead and just save that um, and a skip notification, but normally it would email them. And then um, let's go schedule sessions and I'll show you that, you know, we would click the intake session, which is also what she's gonna see on her end is to go schedule the first visit, which is the intake. And there's your booking window. Okay, so let's go back to um, the booking and packages tab. The next setting is, well, let's, I'm not using a recurrent setting, but this is if you wanted to have recurring sessions, um, which might be nice um, for nutritionists or therapists. Okay, packages. So now you can see she had that original package and um, this one we just added here. And then lastly, programs is snuck under this tab. Programs is the way that you're going to be enrolling them in several types of programs it's going to be the um, evergreen ones it's going to be um, group ones it's going to be maybe an email marketing program so my test clients been enrolled in four different programs um, this was one we just run, ran let's view progress and um, you know, if she had progressed through this, which you can see the modules here, these are showing the tasks that are assigned to each module that show up for her. Um, this one pregnancy program, you can see a little bit of different um, organization there. And you can see that there's some progress here. And that's the program tab so programs are a great way i'll just go ahead and hop up to programs which is um, my programs i have quite a few in here we're going to go to that detox that was just run this was a fixed date everyone ran it at the same time and let's look at an example day one module so I, each day I'm giving something this is this is a slide I pasted as an image and I would change something every day I use canva to make an example here of their schedule and some tips and then tasks so that the tasks are over here on the right if there was a form that I had attached the form would show up on the right also um, I will show you one that has a um a form and so this one has a protocol here and you can see enrollments you can see chat you can see if they wanted to email broadcast people analyze it so 
we're going to do confirming the due date here. And here we've put everything a little too much. Um, lesson number one, this was the first program. I had my virtual assistant use Canva to put a lot of this in there. The problem is your spacing and your font size for them to view on the phone, you have to be very careful. So it's gonna look bigger on the computer um, on images because you want it to be visible on the phone. And so I just made all the other practice better font to be larger. And then over here, progress and forms. So here, um, we can look at how we integrated a form, forms and waivers. Let's go to the, let's find this. Um, so this has everything from practice forms, marketing, intakes, to um, here's the due date determination. Let's, I'm gonna press preview. So here I'm using the form to help them walk through the steps of what to consider. And um, it says asking them questions. This, this is a form I don't intend to review. It's for a free program. It's to kind of, and I added little notes about did they do this? And then they kind of conclude at the end, um, what, are your, what are your due dates? well, due date, um, but also have them do their, some statements there, affirmations about letting go of a solid date. So that's an example of how you can use the programs and the forms there um, for um, practice better.